Got a Photoshop question? Brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals. It's Ask Dave. This week I'm going to try and address a question that a number of people have asked in different ways, and that is how can I get a better result with Content Aware Fill? And I've done a tutorial on this elsewhere, but I thought I'd add it to the Ask Dave collection. And here's the problem that people encounter. I want to try and cover up this little bit of missing backdrop in this photograph. So I do Content Aware Fill. I'm on the background layer, so I hit Delete or Backspace. I've got Content Aware. I click OK, and it says, let me fill that in for you. It does pretty well up here, but unfortunately, here it's too close to the wheel, so it includes that. Now in CS6, there's a great solution because the patch tool now has a Content Aware option you can actually do it, put on a separate layer. But for now, this is an interesting solution. Unlock the background layer. And what we're going to do is make just a very rough selection. And the only part I have to really worry about is right here. Just a rough selection around the area that you don't want Content Aware Fill to use, which in this case is the motorcycle. I'm going to add a layer mask with the Option or Alt key held down so it makes a mask out of the opposite area. So now all I have to do is go back to the main image, make my selection once again in here, like this. Of course, you can use any selection tool. I just happen to be using the uh, polygonal lasso in this case. Now, the real key is to make sure that when you do this, you click back on the image itself, not the layer mask. Then we do Content Aware Fill. In this case, I'm going to have to use a keyboard shortcut, Shift Delete or Shift Backspace since I'm no longer in the background layer. Content Aware, click OK. And since there isn't any motorcycle for it to use, instead it doesn't. It just says I'll use that area. Now sometimes you may find you, you want to kind of double up a little bit like this and just do another area to try and make it a little less obvious perhaps that there's an edge, something like this. So you can do that if you want or you could use the spot healing brush to kind of fix it up a bit. Often that helps kind of randomize it a bit. And then the last step is throw away the layer mask and delete it. And there we go. Pretty cool. Now, as I said, in CS6, it's even easier in some ways because of the new patch tool. But for the meantime, this is a pretty nice way when you're having problems where the content aware fill option is grabbing from the wrong spot. This is a pretty nice way to fix it. Ask your short Photoshop question using the contact form here at Kelby TV or through Twitter at Dave Cross. Thanks for watching Ask Dave, brought to you by the National Association of Photoshop Professionals and the Dave Cross Workshops. We'll see you next time.